You know what happened with the D R E. Chase perfection These walls are my blank expression My mind is a home I'm trapped in What's good in the hood guys? Welcome back to another video And in today's video I want to talk about something that is super fucked up So where I live, someone that I actually used to know in middle school I guess 7, 8, 9, those grades Someone that I used to know actually got charged And you know, house arrest <laughs> They fucked up super big. Pretty much this guy, let me just give you a background story to how I know him in the first place. So in junior high, I guess you could say, I was not overly popular. Like I wouldn't consider myself popular at all. I was, I was a loser. I won't even deny it. I'm pretty sure half the people in junior high only were nice to me because they felt bad for me and that was definitely a teammate. I mean, like, I didn't get bullied, and if I ever did, I was too oblivious to even realize it, but this kid was what you would call a hockey kid. And trust me, there was fucking plenty, because we are a small Canadian city, and everyone here that has an ego plays hockey, pretty much. There is, there is a bunch of nice people that do play hockey, don't get me wrong, but the junior high kids where I went to school were, a lot of them were questionable and a little bit douchey, especially the ones that played hockey quite competitive, and he was one of them. He didn't even go to our school, I don't even think, I don't even remember where he went to school. I just knew him because a girl that I don't like now, or ever liked, uh, was dating him at one point in time, and that's how everyone knew him kind of thing, or how I knew him anyway. So that's how I know this guy. He dated a girl that used to go to school with me, and so eventually everyone just kind of knew who he was. It wasn't someone that I had ever talked to in my entire life, like, never it's just i knew him from seeing pictures and then the girl that i went to school with was dating him kind of deal so i knew him he probably has no fucking clue who i am to be totally honest but i i know him i was that person like i knew everyone and they most likely just didn't know me so that's a little bit of a background story as to how i know this kid and what he did recently is super fucked up I don't know how someone lacks common sense this badly to not realize that what you are doing in this very moment is wrong. So, just short, sweet, what he did is basically he was at a party, he was intoxicated, I actually don't freaking know or give a shit. The situation's still really fucked up. So, he walked into a room of two individuals and they were having sex. And pretty much what he did was he pulled out his cell phone, started recording these individuals, and then he think he did it on two occasions that night. It was the same girl, two different dudes, kind of dealio. And he ended up using the footage that he recorded against the girl trying to get her to have sex with him. So after hearing what I just said and whatnot, let me know in the comment section below if you think that's fucked up and if you would do it or if you would not do it. Because I certainly think that it's pretty common sense not to record people on your phone having sex and then use it against said people to try to get some action. But that's just me, like... Like, I don't care if you're intoxicated, if you're on drugs, or whatever the fuck you may be. It's common sense not to record people having sex and then use it as a leverage to try and, you know, get some. Like, if you're that desperate, I feel bad. But all honesty, like, it's common sense. You don't do that to people. Not only did he invade the people's privacy, not only the girl's privacy, but the two dudes' privacy... He's using it against them to try to get some action. Like, that is super fucked up. And if you have to resort to those kind of actions to try to get some, you are pathetic. <laughs> so he actually did end up showing his friends, but he didn't send any copies around, which is still kind of fucked up that they had those videos on his phone. Like, that's really weird. I would like to mention that the girl actually did not agree to have sex with him. She said no, said no, even though he threatened to kind of expose her in a way. She did not end up agreeing to it. So on that aspect, he's very fucking lucky that this did not escalate to that point because it would be 10 times worse than it is already. Yes, this article has been across the country and yes, he really does deserve it because what he did was so wrong on so many levels and it's just common sense in what you do day to day not to do stupid shit. And if you think recording people having sex at a party and then using it against the people having sex to try to get some is okay, you're fucked up. 
and like I didn't mention, but these people were under 18, meaning that the videos on his phone is technically child pornography and him he at this time i believe is 19 yeah because i'm turning 19 he's the same age so he's 19 years old taking videos and shit like, what the fuck is wrong with you dude i'm making this video the same like the same night as yesterday's video and i just had to express myself i guess and rant about it and just kind of tell you guys about it because i've heard about it a long time ago and it's still circulating the internet and around facebook now every single person that i know and went to school with and everyone knows about it and there's people sticking up for this little fucker there's people actually saying if this was your friend you wouldn't want people to bully him or like it's fucking pathetic dude there is no justification at all for what he did because it's common sense like i've said a hundred times like you just don't fucking do shit like this and then expect the internet and the media to not fucking degrade you <laughs> be totally honest i never really liked this guy i don't know why i just got weird vibes from him i got like weird vibes from all the hockey kids they were just all really fucking annoying when i was in junior high like some of them yes were nice and some of them were just fucking pricks but in the end I'm out of junior high and it doesn't matter and he clearly has something going for him now. If by chance any of the Hockey Academy kids or whomever watches this video that knows me in real life and you get offended by this video, you are probably one of the douchebag hockey kids that I'm talking about. If you don't get offended then you're clearly one of the nice ones and I hope you have a great day. But guys, that's all I really have to say in today's video. Hopefully you had a good day. And in general, about the situation, I hope the people that they, he did this to are doing good now and I can actually get some sleep at night. But yeah, I hope you guys have a good day and hope today was better than the last. And I'll see you in the next video. And life lesson, don't be like this fucker because life will just not end well for you. Tell me what am I doing? I said what?